What's going on everybody? Spaceballs here. Welcome back to another Clipio Crystal Guardians video. And today we're doing the grind part 7. I'm pretty sure it's the grind part 7. Before we get to the video guys, I just want to say happy Easter to everybody. I hope everybody's being happy, healthy, and safe. I hope you do get to spend some time with your family. I know not everybody's supposed to like gather together, so it kind of ruins Easter. But I do hope you guys are going to have a good Easter. In the Today we're doing the grind is real part 7. Very excited. I got a ton of stuff you guys. It couldn't have came at a better time because we got so many new toys yesterday. And I've been like just working on everything, just building everything up. Um, I just threw runes on everything. I'm going to do a, a video tomorrow morning and I'm going to re-rune my whole account. So that will do tomorrow. So this way we're not going to get into too much ruining or anything. But I did runes. I just threw runes on stuff just to like, you know, build the stuff up in the campaign. Because it does make it easier to farm when you have um, runes on your monsters. But other than that, guys, let's get into the video. We got the converting, sanctifying. We're going to do some summons. To, so we can get the extra convert stones. I'm going to do some skill ups. I'm going to show you what I've been grinding, which is pretty much magic again, guys, because I've been getting so many new toys that I've been just stuck in the magic, the magic dungeon. So for me, that's all I've really been doing again. And I'm actually on floor 90 of Vapor Dreamland, and I'm going to do a video on that as well, probably later tonight. So this way I can show you guys how to beat level 90. That's why I haven't done it yet, only because I want to do it on camera for you guys, because Spaceballs loves you guys, and I want to help you guys get through that. But with no further ado, guys, let's get into the video. I guess we'll start this off with some summons, guys. We're only going to do a 10 pull just so we can get the convert stones that we need here. So nothing crazy, just a quick 10 pull. We have 18 from you saw yesterday. We did the massive uh, summoning session. We got Loki. You know, we got a bunch of new toys. We got Hattori, which he is really good. Guys. I didn't realize how good Hattori actually was. That guy is amazing. He's got, like, poisons, and he's just so good. I'm so happy about him. Maybe we can get lucky and pull the bone can. <laughs> You guys know about that 400 slash 4%. You guys know all about that. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys are going to have a good Easter. I'm going to be busy most of today. That's why I wanted to get this video up now. Shield Guardian. We don't need him. But this should give us the convert stones that we need. Oh, yep, C304. So now we can do some converting. We're actually going to convert our second Popo. So first, quickly, we'll go to the box. We're going to sanctify our, our Arcanist because I, I have a slot 6 hit percentage on her. And I want to change her to HP. I would put her on defense, but she has such low base defense, guys. You probably don't want to use uh, defense percentages on your Arcanist because of how low her base defense is. She has one of the lowest base uh, defenses in the game, I think. It at least seems that way. Um, I recently threw some new runes on my mummy, but we'll get into this in the in the rune video. I switched him to a defense build. Um, I've been working on... The one thing that I've been slacking on, guys, is none of my uh, monsters are sanctified. Because I have to, you have to five star a second copy. So I've been working on that as well. That's another thing I've been doing for the past week. So I've been doing magic, and I've been working on my sanctifies. So I've been just grinding up all of the, the second copies to level five, so I can start doing my sanctifies. As you can see, I, I started to do it for my harpy, my Wyatt, my boxer, my goblin, my ogre, and all that stuff. This way I can start because I've been slacking on that. None of my stuff is sanctified. Uh, my demonic swordsman, he's not sanctified. So I really need to start doing that stuff. Uh, here, I'll show you all of my... You guys know how I love to save my skill cats. Here we go again. Round four, I think this is. But yeah, you know, that's pretty much the scoop on what I've been doing for this whole week. You guys know that. You saw you saw my summary session yesterday. And you guys saw that I pulled Loki, which I'm so excited about. I just threw some runes on him. I think I threw uh, Musashi's runes on him. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I threw his runes on him. Um, this is not the runes I'm going to keep on him. I'm going to get him on much better runes. I'm going to get him on a Berserk set, and I'm going to probably put him on the runes that I have on my Spider Queen, which are these ones, because he has such a high base speed. I didn't realize until this morning how high his base speed is, 120 base speed. Let me know in the comments, guys, if that's like one of the fastest base speeds in the game, because that seems really, really fast, and he's actually faster than my Succubus, which is turning into a problem. So I definitely, definitely have to get these runes off of him. But like I said, I just threw these runes on him just to you know farm campaign so i didn't have to use my uh my lich so i could just use him and i can get you know i can bring more stuff up xp wise so i didn't have to run two you know two damage dealers to get that done so first things first is i uh, we can do the we'll do the sanctify first get her done so her i'm gonna go with the hit percentage one because like i told you i'm gonna switch her runes and i'm gonna put her on double hp double hp speed because that's what i feel like she's best built as because if she's built as a damage dealer guy she's going to just die especially for what you want to use her for so let we have a copy of her which you guys know that we got her i think from either summoning or converting we got a second copy somewhere down the line so let's get that done you do not need two copies of an arcanist she does you know you don't need two of her one does the job just fine because she 
you know, spreads the buffs and you only need one to do that. So I was looking through this earlier. We are going to go with, I think, this one here. The ignore the resistance and the hit percentage by 20. I'm not going to go through all these guys. You guys, I've been through this in many of my other videos. So if you guys want to see that, you could just go check one of those videos out. So we are going to go with this one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch. I'll show you here because now you see how she has a lot of hit percentage. We're going to switch this slot six to, you know, an HP with like speed or crit rate or something like that because um, I don't want to run. I don't like running slot six hit percentage. Only early game, I feel like that is like good to do. Once you start getting middle to late game, you definitely want to get rid of the slot six hit percentage runes unless, you know, you have really good other runes to make up for doing that. So for me personally, I'd rather use the Sanctify for the hit percentage and then switch that to an HP percentage on her because like I told you guys, her base defense is super low. Now, uh, Yaksasha, she is, uh, Yaksha, Yaksasha, here we, here we go, here we go in the comments, guys, Yaksha, Yaksha, <laughs> don't kill me, guys, <laughs> I'm gonna hear it in the comments already, no, it's Yaksha, it's Yaksha, okay, Yaksha is amazing, she's absolutely amazing, guys, all jokes aside, she is so good, she's just so much damage and so much utility, I'm loving her, she's one of my favorite, favorite LD toys to play with, um, I haven't really been using the mummy much, so that's why I kind of, like, gave his runes away to other people, as you can see, all of our projects we're working on. Here's our Oven Queen and our Swordsman. And then we've been now I got this guy going on Fallen Angel. I think we can actually evolve him right now. I guess we can. Let's do that. I don't know how where I'm going to use this guy. To be honest with you guys, he's Fallen uh, the Fallen Angel. I'm not really too sure where I'm actually going to use this guy yet because I have just so much other stuff. But I could probably end up using him in the new Inferno and in Guild Wars and stuff like that because I know this guy does massive damage. So I'll probably end up using him somewhere around there. That's why I like to build him. He is a five star. I will get use out of him somewhere down the line. Same thing with our Iron Heart. I will eventually get use out of him in Guild Wars or you know the Inferno or something like that. Now you know we're building our Augur. This guy, I've seen this guy take like somebody said they got him up to twenty four turns. Could you imagine twenty four turns, twenty four HP burns? Guys, build this guy. Have fun with this guy. He's amazing, especially in the Vapor Dreamland. He's awesome. Build him. Have fun with him. Enjoy him. Trust me on that one. We're getting our harpy up because uh, I want to use her in Vapor Dreamland level 90. I think she's really good for that. So I wanted to build her and get her sanctified so I can show you guys a free. I, I'm, it's going to be a free, totally free to play friendly team. There's going to be one five star in the team, which most people should have at least one five star on their account. So we're going to do Vapor Dreamland level 90, totally free to play. What I'm going to do is I'm going to record it and then I'm going to I'm going to voice over it and do it in like a four times play. So this way we don't have to sit there and go through like a 20 minute run because it does take time because the fallen angel just between his passive and every, if you don't do 20% damage, then he heals 20%. So it gets really, really crazy guys. So I want to do something like that. So I'm going to make a special video for that. We'll probably do that sometime during the week. Just remember, guys, and everybody that has account review coming, just know I got a whole list now. Like when I started doing it, I, there wasn't a lot of people that wanted me to do it. Now I got like, you know, over 10 people that want me to do it. I promise you guys, I'm going to get to each and every single one of you. I promise you that. I'm going to do like one a day or two a day if I have to just to get it done because I love you guys and I want to make sure I'm helping every single one of you guys. So I promise you, if you're on that list, I'm coming. I'm going to get there. I promise you that we'll get it done soon. All right, let's do our popo now. <clears throat> The reason I picked Popo instead of uh, Succubus is because I don't have a second. I have a second copy of Popo. I don't have a second copy of Succubus, so I felt like I'd rather keep just in case for like Guild Wars or Inferno. Because if you lose something Inferno, you can't use it again. So that's why I wanted to make sure that I had a second copy of my Succubus. So since we have a second copy of Popo, Popo seemed like the better choice. So this will be our second Popo that we're converting. Wish me luck, guys. What are we looking? Oh, let's look at our archives. Let's see what we're looking for. Let's see what Spaceballs is looking for. Before we do anything, um, archive rewards, that's what we're looking for. So we actually want a Mountain King. I don't really need Mountain King, but just to finish, I'd rather get the uh, the Dragoon, to be honest with you. I'd much rather have her. Um, for Zeus, we need Enchantress, which I really want Enchantress for Arena. It's really slowing me down in Arena because I don't have her, and you really kind of need her to do top tier Arena. You don't need her. But she makes it a lot easier. Don't get me wrong. And we already got our Fallen Angel, so that's good. So we just need that to finish and get our Zeus, which I would love to get a Zeus. Even though we got Loki, so I don't really need Zeus as much anymore. So that's what we're looking for, guys. Let's see what we can do here. Bye-bye to our, like, fifth Popo. You guys know, if you need a Lich King or a Popo, let Space Balls do your summons, because that's all I pull is uh, Lich Kings and Popos. <laughs> it is actually kind of funny, to be honest with you. But here goes nothing, guys. 
as you guys saw. And one, I th I feel like we're going to get a dupe. I don't even want to do it because I feel like 100% we're going to get a dupe here. But we got to do it. It's got to be done. So with no further ado, one, two, three. Ah, uh, I knew that was going to happen. That's, uh, I believe that's Spider Queen. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really bad with that. I don't know if I want to, I think I need to, uh, it says re-roll. Uh, they must have added this in, this re-roll stuff. And I don't think you can re-roll without 300 stones though. Yeah, no. Oh, oh no, I messed up. Oh, I messed up, guys. <laughs> I hit re-roll. Uh-oh. I could have used that to, uh, to sanctify my Spider Queen. Was that Spider Queen though? Or was that... Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Spider Queen. And uh, I don't have her sanctified, so that was a mistake, but that is okay. It's no big deal. I'm sure I'll pull one down the line again anyways. I just want to make sure that was Spider Queen and not something else. I just want to see her default picture. Yeah, that was Spider Queen. That's okay. I could have sanctified her, but no big deal. We still have it. We st still going to convert this Popo get in the future. That was a mistake for sure. Because I definitely would have used that for Sanctify. But to be honest with you, I don't really use Spider Queen. I only use her in the arena anyways. Yeah, it would have made her a little bit stronger. But that is no big deal. You know Spaceballs is an epic fail. So there is an Easter epic fail for you guys. There it is in tenfold. I wanted to see what happened if I hit reroll. I thought maybe like, I don't know. but Because <laughs> last time it used to be cancel or save. But now I guess, so guys, take that as a lesson. If you hit reroll, you keep the same. If you don't have enough stones, you keep the same one that you had already. So we're going to be putting this Popo back in storage. Did I put him back in storage already? No, he's right here. So now we still have two copies of Popo. So I can actually build a second Popo. Or, you know, we can try to convert again in the future. But that is pretty funny. I could have used that for that. But that's okay. No big deal. I'm not worried about that. Would have been good to sanctify. I just, I don't know why I hit reroll. I don't know what made me just hit reroll. I'm, I'm such a fail, guys. I'm such an epic fail. I really am. But I hope that put a smile on your face, guys. So you can learn from my epic fails. But not a big deal. So, uh, Loki, we are going to give him some Devil Mons. These are the skills that I picked for him. This guy's amazing. This guy hits so hard. And he's the only one that's got, uh, what is it called? Uh, mind control. He's the only, I think he's the only monster in the game that has it. Let's just check quick. Uh, archives, filter, go down to mind control. I'm pretty sure he's the only monster in the game that has mind control. And it gives him like 30% boosted uh, damage. So here it is. Here, my, yeah, he's the only one in the game that has it. And it gives him 30% boosted damage. So I went with everything that has mind control. But this guy, I like the attacks all enemies. And I like... This one as well. This is attack an enemy two times. I wish this was an AOE. I feel like he should have two, two AOEs, but I think this one is a passive, and this one is a passive, which I'll probably use these somewhere in the future. But for now, I like him as a, as a straight damage dealer. So we are going to feed him some Devil Bonds. So let's do that. And as I said, guys, I've been grinding the light, the Dark Dungeon like crazy to get this guy a ball because he needs so many... Um, uh, so many... Marks so many level three marks. He needs so many of them. So this guy is going to get all the devil mods because he is an LD nat five. I do need to put some into other things, but you know what? That is okay. I'd rather get him going because he. I I know he's amazing. With these runes that he has, are not even good. He's not even on double attack, and he's hitting so hard already. He's going to be so good for the um for the arena. And I actually could have paired him with Spider Queen. <laughs> I could have sanctified her and got her accuracy up. And paired her with Spider Queen, but you know me, I am an epic fail, but that is okay. I, I was, I don't know, for some reason when I saw a reroll, I was like, wait, did they like do something wrong? Because it used to say cancel or save, you know, and I never hit cancel before. But I knew if you hit cancel, I figured you would keep the same copy. But it didn't, it, it, it never like went into my head that if, I, that if I hit cancel, that I would lose a Spider Queen and keep the Popo. But that's okay. That just makes it so we can do more converting in the future, because... Or I can build a second Popo. Everybody's telling me to build three Popos, four Popos. I would never, I don't think I'd ever have to use to do something like that. So he just needs two more and he's good to go. So that worked out perfect. I don't even know where I got all these skill cats from this time around, guys. It's just from like the events, the uh, the three-day perks, some rewards here and there. So now he's fully skilled up. And tomorrow we're going to re-rune all of our monsters, guys. I'm going to get all these guys on some amazing runes. Now this guy had Tori. I do want to go over him real fast. Because this guy is so, so good, guys. Again, I just threw runes on him. He doesn't have 
good runes at all. He's at low speed. I just did this for farming purposes and to check out to see how he, you know, interacts with, you know, dealing damage and stuff like that. But these skills are so amazing, guys. Attacks an enemy six times. Each attack deals 100% of attack and damage. First attack has an 80% chance to disable targets passive skills for two turns attacks two and six will poison the target if they are critical strike i've seen this guy put up like a ton of poison especially on a berserk set this guy is just pumping out those poisons it's so awesome attack an enemy two times with shuriken oh, you guys are gonna get me for that one you guys are gonna get that's like <laughs> each attack deals 225 percent of attack and damage 40 percent chance to poison and silence the target for two turns again this guy is just crazy the silences the poisons Swiftly slash, slash at an enemy to deal 380% of attack and damage. 60% chance to poison target for two turns. Again, this guy's just like a crazy poisoner, silencer. I'm loving him. I'm going to add him onto my debuff team because he's that good. And he deals massive, massive damage. So I'm absolutely loving this guy. I'm so happy to pull him. Uh, fallen, uh, my Olgar, I'm going to get him six-starred. I'm going to get my Fallen Angel, Angel six-starred. Oh, we can actually do a six-star right now. Oh, let's do our Loki. I give him all the all the skill cats and I don't even have him six starred. Baseballs, what's the matter with you? What is the matter with you? Just remember, guys, it's five in the morning for me. That's why I'm like epic failing like crazy right now. I I know I'm an epic fail like on a normal basis, but I'm really epic failing right now because it's uh it's five twenty in the morning right now. But I wanted to get this video off for you guys because I'm not gonna be able to to uh do much today because it's Easter and you know I do want to spend some time with the kids and the family. So I wanted to make sure I got a video up for you guys today. So let's get him going. Now he's fully skilled up. Yes, we do want to do that. Yeah, he's fully skilled up, fully stick starred, totally ready to go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. There we go. Now he's good to go. Now we just got to get him leveled up all the way and he's good. Next we'll do Fallen Angel. I'm going to sanctify my Boxer, my Goblin, my Wyatt, and my... Uh, swordsman and i'm actually going to start building my holy swordsman so i still got so much stuff to do so I, that's why i pretty much guys i've been in, in the i'll show you where i am in the growth plan because i like to show you guys everything in this uh, as you guys can see here like that so yeah as you see we're, we're almost we're getting through this growth plan we're almost done we're going to get our last um sacred summon probably like a couple days two or three four days i have a lot of unknowns so i could actually bang this out really quick if i wanted to I just really haven't been in the mood to do it. Um, now we still need to get a second Spider Queen because of my epic fail. <laughs> I could have used it for Sanctify. I'm so stupid. <laughs> but then I wouldn't have... Well, I don't have any convert... By the time I get 300 convert stones, the, the reason I say that is because it's going to take me so long to get 300 convert stones that by the time I get those, um, I'm probably going to pull so many other dupes by then. So that's why I say that. But yeah, we've been. I haven't been doing much with Inferno. I st I pretty much haven't touched it since last time, guys. I'm gonna get into that soon. That's why I'm building up my low key and some more teams because you're gonna need multiple teams to do that. I'll show you here what I've been working on. Vapor Dreamland. As I told you, we're on level 90. Now I could do this, but I'm I'm purposely not doing it just because I want to show you guys level 90 and I explained that all to you already, so I don't have to explain that again. We're doing the Aspire slowly and steady. And the lair, I just I just hit every now and then, not too crazy. Like I hit the lawful, I hit the evil, you know, here and there, not nothing too crazy, just enough. Uh, I haven't hit it. I I usually do it on my phone. That's why there's no team there. But I've been doing that very little. But pretty soon, the next couple of weeks, we're gonna be getting into that even more. Um, I do my Thanos every day, as you guys know. We can actually do that now. I really don't focus on this too much, guys. I usually just go like this. And then I'll check it, make sure everything's good, and then I'll just go like that. And then one, two, three. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Yeah, I don't, I'm not, you know, I don't focus on this too much, like trying to do crazy big amounts of damage. Like I know people like to focus on this. This is really all about runes, to be honest with you, anyways. The more maxed up your runes are, the more damage you're gonna deal in this. Uh you do get some pretty good drops from this. That's why I do like to make sure that I'm doing this every single day. I usually do this in the morning right now when I wake up at 5 30. I usually don't wake up at 5 30. I usually wake up at like 6 30, 7 30, guys. But yeah, that, that's pretty much that for Thanos. I skip right through that. And then this whole week, I've just been doing this. Back pulls, stage one. I do it on my phone again. That's why it's not there. But no, and I don't run this. That was just something I was leveling up. But you guys get the drift. That's what we've been doing there. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been doing the Dark Catacombs level 10. I've been doing this over and over and over to get my Loki and get my Hattori good to go because I want to finish them up. 
and we also been doing magic because it's so much involving you just need so many marks and it just takes forever so i've been for, for like the past five days again i feel like this is all i've been doing is magic 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 i need to get back into giants and leviathan and start getting my runes farming but i do have a ton of runes and in the next video we are going to do some um major rune you know assessment on this account so i will that i'm sure that will help you guys a lot here's our three-day perks but i tell you guys where i get all my devil mods and stuff from but what i usually do is i buy the gem pack the random gem pack and i buy that twice and what that does is that gives me the uh light dark summon and it gives me the skill cat so i feel like for eight bucks it's kind of worth it because you're getting a skill cat and you know and the um ld summon so i feel like that is kind of worth it that is why i do that that's pretty much the only money that i really do spend on this game we can actually do another 10 pull before we wrap this up special surprise for you guys this is not a summoning video but i like to i know you guys like to see the summons but we got it we're gonna have to make a little bit of uh, space no we don't need space actually we're good but yeah i'll show you my storage you guys know all my storage we've just got so many projects guys you see we got so many four stars so many projects so many Lunas, Druids, just so many Holy Swordsmen. I know people are going to be so salty when they see all those Holy Swordsmen. But that <laughs> makes me feel bad. Um, yeah, but that's all my seal cats. But that's, you know, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what I've been doing. Just working on building my new toys. I'm really liking Loki a lot, and I'm really liking Hattori. I feel like they're really going to become, you know, fixtures in my late game speed teams. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much it for this one. That's the grind. That's what I've been doing for the past week. I pretty much showed you everything. I, I do my events. I buy my skill cats. I do my guild wars every single day. If there's a guild war, I make sure that I'm a part of it. Same thing with the, with the dungeon part of it. I do this every day, as you guys can see. Number one, I think our leader actually recently left. I think Amber actually recently left to a different clan. He gave the leadership over and went somewhere else. That is okay. We are still doing very good. But yeah, before we wrap this one up, guys, let's do one more 10 pull for you guys. I really want to get that Bone King. That's why I'm like hoping deep down inside that they'll give me the Bone King. I know they're not going to, but it would be really cool if they did. But I know they're not going to but here to wrap this one up happy easter to you guys that's why we we're gonna do this one happy easter 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 let's see what we can get oh we don't want barbarian sorry barbarian happy easter to you barbarian but we do not want you but yeah but that's pretty much it for this guys for this one guys i hope you guys have a happy and healthy easter and if you're not a part of the giveaway make sure you go down to the description and you get a part of the giveaway because Spaceballs loves each and every single one of you later tonight i'm going for easter i'm going to be picking a random video and doing a random comment picker and doing a random um prize for one of you guys so make sure that you're commenting and liking all the videos because it's going to be a completely random video because i love you guys and i want to wish you guys a happy easter if you guys are not a part of the discord make sure you go down to the description and you get a part of the discord because it is growing rapidly and there's some awesome great people in there but as always, guys, I will see you in the next one. Spaceballs out. Peace.